everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel with your favourite person from the hub. In today's arts and crafts video we're going to be doing wax crayon art. Now Nick has done a video on this before but mine's going to be 10 times better. But before we get into it, here's a little video. Hi everyone, I'm sorry for interrupting your uh, video with Chloe in arts and crafts. We have ourselves a little bit going on between us. I reckon I can get to 200 views first on my arts and crafts videos. No Somehow true. Chloe reckons she can beat me. Of course I can. Ain't gonna happen, is it? Right, let's get back to the topic, no arguing. So, we have decided to have ourselves a little bet. If I get to 200 views first and one of my videos, Chloe, where are you taking me for lunch? I'll take you for an Italian. Oh, for an Italian. And if- Because it's not gonna happen. <laughs> and if, Chloe wins, yeah. I will take you to Prezzo's or Nando's, you can pick which one. Oh. So, we, I need you to uh, just watch Nick's videos. Thank you, just here's Chloe. Time, just yeah. <laughs> right then, so what you'll need is a bunch of crayons. We got three packs, but if you want more, that's fine. Um, we've got a heat craft tool gun, but you can use a hairdryer if you've got that at home. You'll need double-sided tape, scissors, a canvas, and it can be any size canvas. We've gone for a big one. And a picture. We've gone for a picture with someone holding an umbrella because it will come out really good once it's finished. PVA glue, or you can use a glue stick if you've got one at home. And that's everything you'll need. That's fine, I'll pause it. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Right then, let's begin. So, first of all, with all your crowns, they will have obviously some paper around. So all you're gonna do is remove that paper and first get some double-sided tape. And all you're gonna do is stick the double-sided tape on one side of the crayon and peel it off like so. Eventually, it will come off. So then guys, all you're going to do is, at the top of your canvas, you're going to place, with the crayon pointing down, each crayon. That's it, hold it down for a couple of seconds and carry that on to the end of the canvas. As if by magic, it's all cut out. So now what you want to do is turn over your picture very carefully. And I'm using PVA glue and I'm going to make sure every single little detail of the picture is glued down to make sure no wax gets underneath the picture. So once you've stuck that down and please make sure every single edge is stuck down otherwise this won't work. So now we're going to be using your hairdryer or heat gun if you have got one but please make sure you have loads of ventilation in the room, the windows are open, doors are open just so that all the nice stuff from the wax isn't contained in one room. And please make sure once you are using it, you're pointing it away from you just so it's not dangerous and you're not getting any hot wax on you. So let's begin. So what you're going to do is lift your canvas up so it's no way any wax is gonna get on you. And please, 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 while the wax is drying, do not touch it as it will be really hot. So wait until all the wax is dry to remove the picture. So you're going to turn your heat gun on and you're going to point it away from you, just like so, and hold it there until the crayon is starting to melt. And as you do, you carry that on all the way through the crayons. Okay guys, so as you can see, all the wax is now dry, so it'd be okay to touch. And once it's all dry, you can now peel off your picture. So once you've peeled your sticker off, it should look something like this. And that is the end result. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, follow all our social medias. We've got Facebook, Instagram. Go and give us a follow and share this video to all your friends it's got to get the most views as nick 
is taking me out to lunch and of course I'm going to win. See you later for the next Arts and Crafts video. Bye.